I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. I came back to the city that we was from and taught you that gang banging was done. Put down your gun, dog. Why don't you trust me? You think you never fell off, you sure? Then why are you competing for a summer madness reward and you done been on summer madness before? That check. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me, right? Salute to every single one of y'all subscribers out there that check out this content, whether religiously or in passing. Um, I definitely appreciate every single one of y'all before we even get into this Mr. Wavy versus None None recap. Salute to my guy Showtime SP, you know what I'm saying? He'll be back tomorrow. He's working today. I know he got a family to feed just like me. But uh, so Mr. Wavy and None None was a battle that I, I will tell y'all always who I had picked. I had picked None None to win the battle um, going into it. Um, I just felt like None None's lyricism and the fact that he raps, raps, raps good like he can rap like he got bars he gets in your shit he be wild um so i picked him going into it i felt like wavy is a lot of performance his, his a lot of his stuff could be catered to bigger stages bigger rooms bigger crowds and even though that's still good for this tournament right here it's about the wow it's about the the first to drop low so like dj clue like he got bars that i still remember from his last battle you know what I'm saying? He, he got bars from there. And them joints stick with you. They like they like soul food. They stick to your ribs. Um, in this battle, I will say this. There's going to be a lot of people who pick both sides to win. Um, I did not get notes for this one. I had, you know, my lawn was getting mowed. And I was focused on the battle, but I didn't have time to get notes. I got notes for every other battle today. So I will definitely go back and look at it further. But I will, uh, when my man Showtime SP comes... They got apps for that. You better start screen recording. I can't wait three weeks for the fucking fucking ride and Mike piece of shit still ain't come out. But uh, what I did see in the battle, I'll give you my personal opinion. I saw Wavy in his first round. It was a serviceable round. I didn't feel like he got super crazy in the first round. I just didn't feel that way. I was like, his first round was cool. None none comes out. He, had, he said some shit about attributes and attributes like this nigga was wildin he had some shit in there like I, I i knock out mr wavy mr sue surf's false identity and all this other shit he was digging into the whole we go hard wavy he had wave flips he had crazy haymakers he had punches he had bars but i'm gonna tell you what though um the battle overall is a good battle, and you gotta watch. I gotta watch it again. The shit started doing that glitchy, glitchy shit for me again too. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Avocado, get back in the goddamn driver's seat anyway. But uh, what I will say is, uh, Wavy's second round, he starts fighting back, and then in his third round, he was wilding back, like super wilding back. His second was fire. Wavy's second was fire. His third was crazy. But it's like every time Wavy got better, none, none got better. That shit was like boom, boom, boom. Like these, it's like every time, and none, none had punches like a motherfucker. I don't even know when none, none like none, none been nice though. When I watched him versus Burt Bucks, and I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, what? Yes, when I watched him versus Burt Bucks, I was like, yo. This is letting me know that he has talent to do it at this level. And that's why I picked him. Coming into this matchup, I said, Wavy's going to have some energy. He's going to have some performance. But when you look at the past battles, you know what I'm saying? If you want to beat me in picking battles, you have to look at all things considered. You have to look at the past battles. You have to look at the battles that happened before the tournament. And you have to look at the battle that they just had. It's a lot of things. You just don't wake up and... You don't wake up and beat me, you know what I'm saying? You gotta work hard. I'm, I'm, I'm moving along in the tournament. You gotta work, you gotta, I could be beat. I could tell you how to beat me, but you gotta put in work to do it. It's not gonna just happen like that. But um, moving on, so you got Wavy, he had some bars, he had some punches, and then he took like the, the, the race angle in the second round. I felt like it was cool. He said, what if, he said some shit like, what if we switched it and said black battle rap was blacks only or something like that? It's cool, 
But when like when none none is punching your fucking head off, like punching your head off, you that shit is just not gonna. I'm a yo fuck it, man. Y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened, man. So none of his third round, he says some shit to me. After he said this line, he packed Wavy up. Salute to everybody who uses that line. A uh, fucking new era, Ben Swayze. I heard uh, Ike P and them niggas use this line. He packed him the fuck up with this line. I think it's very fitting. Salute to y'all. He told this nigga, how you battling is something where Summer Madness is the reward when you've been on Summer Madness before? Oh, Lord. He sent Wavy the fuck home. I'm sorry. I know there's some people who's probably gonna feel like Wavy won, but listen, he got out punched. He got out punched. I don't even need the bars, but I'm, I'm telling you, I remember when I needed to remember, I remembered. And when he told him that you you battling on something with Summer Madness is the reward, when you've been on Summer Madness before, I said, oh my God, I said, shit. He made everybody be like, you know what? That shit is true. You battling on something with Summer Madness is the reward, and you've been on Summer Madness before. Now, I feel like, uh, you know, I ain't got no sort of hate. I ought to take a water break. Y'all know how it go. My nigga, I'm up here cooking for 10, 15 minutes a row. Showtime ain't here, he at work. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's hard to do, like, I be telling niggas sometimes with this blog and shit, a lot of niggas be wanting to do this, but they don't realize how hard it is to sit up in front of this camera, entertain, be charismatic, and not stumble for 10, 15 minutes in a row just straight talking and keep your attention. This shit ain't easy. That's why we was top tier when we got here. This shit ain't easy, but so, None None moving on, him versus Bill Collector is a very, very fucking interesting battle. But I just seen None None beat him. I just seen None None beat him, Mr. Wavy, that people had Wavy picked. And I just seen Bill Collector beat the shit out of Mike P. So, I mean, I don't know. I got to, you know, I got to let my brain chill on that. I can't even do that for a day. I need my brain to chill on that. I seen uh, they got another Rookies vs. Vets with Kid Chaos versus JC. I got to wrap my brain around that. But congratulations to None None. None None is one that I switch lanes on. Like, I, I skirt, what, what, skirt, you see, I switch lanes on him. I ain't gonna hold you. When I saw him that first week versus Loso, I didn't have him pick to beat Loso. But once I seen him beat, skirt, I seen him beat Loso, nigga, I switched lanes so motherfucking fast. I said, oh, I'm hopping in this lane right here. He got bars. He rapping. He smoking shit. I gotta pick this motherfucker right here to win because I just knew that he was gonna turn it up. I just, I just skirted on him. You know, salute to J. Rome. I know, I know Hunger Games. You know what I'm saying? I know how y'all give it up. Um, salute to the whole Carolina. But I definitely had to jump in there. I ain't gonna lie. I jumped on the bandwagon. Fuck it. It is what it is. Well, I, I got to, I got to continue to win, baby. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What good is it, the media tournament without me in it? You know what I'm saying? I, I got to, I had to do that. I screwed. Once I said, no, no, he was wild. No, uh, no, no, did his thing. He definitely, um, he definitely showed up. He was punching like a motherfucker. Them punches was landing too. But that's some madness shit. That's some madness. Why you battling on something with some madness is the reward? <sighs> when you've been on some madness before. Oh my god. That that's that's crazy, man. Salute to everybody who donated uh to my man Showtime SP's birthday. Uh I had a couple little bets out there too. I done won my bets today too. Um, the only person, the only battle that really didn't um, pan out for me was um, motherfucking Holmesy the God and EK. I picked EK, but that's, I don't know. Holmesy won, but it's kind of debatable. Fire battle overall. Uh, there's going to be people who picked none none over, I mean, that picked Wavy over none none, and I get it. But when it comes to punching, and somebody's trying to punch your head off while you're doing, you know what I'm saying? He's doing all the batch explode. Like he's doing all this, it like it's cool. The theatrics is great, but the motherfucking none none is going bar for bar for bar for bar. He just he dropped him off, man. I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan too, but wait, he got dropped off right in front of the big target. He, he dropped you off, my nigga. It is what it is. But I, I look to see you again. Uh, you know, go find that man. And don't come back until you find that man. Uh, fire battle. Salute to Ultimate Rap League for putting this whole thing together, giving us entertainment. 
and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Something to watch, something to talk about. Twitter's going crazy right now. Uh, caffeine. Y'all gotta get that motherfucking stream together though, man. Like, like y'all, y'all was doing good. Y'all had a good little run, but y'all gotta get that motherfucking stream together. Y'all can't have niggas in the middle of their round and the shit start glitching out and kicking us out and coming back and all of that. Cause you know, all of us ain't employees. We got niggas out here that's that's that we blog here, YouTube, and we got we calling it down the middle. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we gonna call it down the middle. That shit was very shaky, very glitchy at times. So let's get it together, you know, I, we can we can work this out, we can make sure that this uh, goes the way it's supposed to. They did offer me a show, I turned it down, you know what I'm saying, because I just, I like doing what I do, I, I like to call it how I call it. If the shit is good, the shit is good, the shit is whack, the shit is whack, the shit is not great, if it fucks up, I can't say that about y'all on y'all shit, that's why I gotta, you know what I'm saying, I gotta stay in the mix, baby. But y'all keep it moving, man, salute to every single one of y'all for watching this content, um, we'll drop the rest of these joints, and we go. Gang, 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 gang. Ha! Huh. How could you do this to me? I thought you loved me. I painted a pretty picture where shit looked ugly. I came back to the city that we was from. I taught you that gang banging was done. Put down your gun, dog. Why didn't you trust me?